These text boxes are EVP captions from EVPs that I hear later while editing. If you want to hear them, I suggest wearing headphones. So I'm asking about these mirrors. Are these mirrors portals? And the person that's here, it's, yeah, it's a boy, like teenage boy, maybe, maybe a little younger, but he's kind of like, oh, I never thought of it that way. He doesn't need the portals. He just goes through, I think, the bathroom and then these doors, because it's probably the same way all the way through. And so he, that's his corridor. So this is one of the first rooms that I'm tuning in. I've been kind of scattered and just in some sort of urgent race. I'm just running, running, running. And that was the first three days. I think it might have to do with just being stuck with COVID and being grounded for so long. Um, I feel like I just had to get up and get moving. When I first came in this room, I opened up the door and I was like, wow, this is a really cool room. And I was standing right about here. I don't know, usually I'll have one camera that I can face, but. No, break it. What if I broke it? All right, so there, there we go. So where was I? All right, so when I first got to this room, I was really excited about it. It looks really nice. And some of these places aren't really that nice. So I was just kind of talking to the camera and I noticed somebody go by right over here. I think they were about this tall. feel like they might have been Asian or even like Native American. And I think it was a boy uh, connected with the family or, or the family that works this place or that owns it. <laughs> oh, and when I started putting cameras around, or when, I, when I've been doing stuff, I've gotten comments, and it might be just the usual spirits that are hanging around and following, but the usual like, oh, what are you doing? And like uh, me putting the camera up there, putting that camera up, um, they were like, or somebody was like, you aren't supposed to be doing that. And putting the camera in the bathroom, somebody was like, oh, you aren't supposed to be doing that. Feeling a little bit of pressure right here, right here on my hand. So I'll give you the tour of the room. Uh, when I saw these, these uh, mirrors up here, I'm thinking, oh, portals. I mean, mirrors are portals. And I've heard them talk about um, using glass. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the smooth surface or reflective surface or what. Holes are often portals. This is like in landmarks and stuff like that. Here's a little secret here, a little travel tip. When you need something taken care of, use the other props in the room to uh, take care of it. So if you turn on the air conditioning, it just billows out the uh, curtains and all of that cold air just goes against the window and then it defeats the use of curtains. So there's that. So yeah, I was going to tune in and see what I get. What about in the bathroom? The person was coming out of the bathroom, coming through here. It was like through here.
feels like everybody's curious. Everybody's like, well, what are we doing? How do we do this? It's kind of like people pushing other people to go up to the front, kind of like, oh, you know, just go, just go. So if you would like to talk with me, now's the time. Once I turn this stuff off, I don't want to talk to you really, because I need to sleep. I feel like somebody's commenting on me having coffee and coffee messing up my sleep. That might be true. They've told me to knock off coffee and I love coffee so much. And I've, I don't drink coffee except for on these rides because it's so available, but I love it. But they say not to do it and they've told me enough times not to drink it that I shouldn't even be doing it on these rides. Um, feeling just the slightest, slightest something on my hand, on the uh, back of my hand. Is that you? Please no names. Follow the, follow my guide's instructions. A little bit of tapping noises over there or settling, who knows. There's enough real spirit stuff that happens that like I'm not just jumping at, oh, that's that's spirit, that's paranormal. Could just be something settling. It could be dust, could be um, insects. So something moved by right there. Hearing more noises over here. I did hear the fridge like turn off, so that's probably what that is. I'm getting the sense of everybody saying to go to bed. Turn it off, you'll have plenty, go to bed. So I'm asking about these mirrors. Are these mirrors portals? And the person that's here it's, yeah, it's a boy, like teenage boy, maybe, maybe a little younger, but he's kind of like, oh, I never thought of it that way. He doesn't need the portals. He just goes through, I think, the bathroom and then these doors, because it's probably the same way all the way through. And so he, that's his corridor. What do you do here? Yeah, it reminds me of like my Filipino friends and stuff that I had when I was like, when I was growing up. It's like funny, a little bit of attitude, uh, very matter of fact. I think he's disagreeing with me or somebody's disagreeing with me about that, about this, this guy. No names. There's that chill. I get chi I get the chills or like a shiver when there is spirit activity or um, I'm tuning into something or somebody's interacting with my energy. I guess that would be how it is. More chills. Somebody was saying something like like pull my finger or something like that, pull his finger. What's the deal? All right, I gotta go to bed. Thank you for hanging out with me and maybe I will see you again. And everybody needs to leave if you need help, if you want to go up, please talk to my team, talk to my guides, and they will help you out there. It's kind of like uh, spirit guides are like, come on, get on with it. Like, and they clap and somebody's like, somebody claps and says, okay, that's a wrap. So I guess that's a wrap. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good night.